Hi, David Vizard here, and you are watching PowerTech 10. Unlike most of PowerTech features, this is kind of a catch-up deal, right? Um, targeted to go between about episode 67 and 68, or thereabouts. What I want to do here is give you an update on where I am on everything. I've had lots of miscellaneous questions. None of them warranted a feature of its own, but it's worthwhile reporting. First off, I've been asked on numerous occasions what's going to happen to the seminars. Well, a uh, bit of a delay due to Marvin's untimely passing a couple of months ago now. Um, I'm, in the last two months since he's been gone, I've realised just how much he did around here to, and left me to play with my little projects. That's over. So I'm, I'm actually having to do stuff now that is not as much fun as I would normally expect. But there again, it's part of the job, so got to do it. First off, seminars. Now, what I'm going to do here is continue a plan that Marvin set out where we do our two and three day seminars over Zoom. Now what this means is it'll save you an airfare and traveling costs to get here. Plus it'll save you two, maybe three nights in a motel. Plus it'll be cheaper. Now the there won't be too many people on this uh, Zoom channel. I'm going to limit it to about 20. But um, it's going to be a lot cheaper and you can stay at home. And what I'm tempting to do here is to not start it until about 1, 2 o'clock in the afternoon and continue it through to about 9 o'clock at night. That means that you can still get most of a day's working, right? But let me know if that's going to work for a lot of you. Now, the other thing is, is I'm just attempting to get started on some of those articles I promised. For instance, here's the 350 that we're going to be testing cams and heads on. Snag! I've got everything ready out here, but I'm short of one component. The damn cam I'm going to use. This is a problem with brain surgery and losing part of your memory. I have no idea where I put it when I last tied it up. I've spent hours looking for it so far, or looking for all three of them. I know I put them somewhere safe, but until I find them, I'm held up on this article. Anyway, let's repack that. I'm sure I'll find it soon. Let me show you one of the projects that's been taking up a lot of time. Here it is, an extension to my shop. I've got about 1,500 square feet inside the door I've just walked out of. And this extension here, which is meant to mimic the ga garage, is about another 180 square feet. Now let me take you inside and show you what we've got. Here we go. This end is more complete than the other end. We're still working on this here. Right, there's approximately 180 square feet in here. Uh, there's my compressor. The, um, uh, the um, bead blaster will go there. It's a bit cluttered up with airlines and things at the moment. Uh, my this is my cylinder head tear down and assembly bench, right? It'll have the valve seat grinder, the um, uh, valve spring compressor here, right? So you can tear down the heads. I'll actually do the assembly over on this bench here. And uh, let me just show you around. A lot of insulation in here. Air conditioning will be over there. Uh, it's, it will have heating. We've already gone through a winter with most of this um, uh, stuff here and it's very well insulated um, if you leave a thousand watt fire electric fire on in here at night 
it's uh, it's even when it's freezing outside it's about 70 degrees in here um, and that's before I finish doing all the double glazing I've just started on that window over there in the door right and uh, these here are a bit messy because they were a hell of a job for me to do um, the uh, uh, woodwork underneath had distorted and it had to be chiseled it had to be chiseled like that to get it flat and then filled to get it smooth so big deal I still got all of this stuff to do around here and here and I'm in the process of putting a winch in there right so that the engine stored under here can be pulled out and taken off and put on now they'll be stored on a trolley like this one here right and the the um, engine stands will be uh, taken down from where the vertical piece goes so I'll be able to get about three engines under there and at least one under there so that should take care of what's in here right so that's it um, probably going to be another few months to finish this I've got to keep doing it between times so here we go I don't want you to make the assumption that the new workshop extension was a product of myself alone far from it if it hadn't have been for a lot of friends it wouldn't be there now for instance Foundations were dug by Jason James. That soil out there was like concrete. It's very high clay and he dug it when it was very dry last year. And uh, had I known it was going to be that much hard work, I think that I'd have got a professional in with a, uh, a uh, backhoe, right? Uh, but anyway, no. He got it done. Thank you, Jason. Also, I got to thank Jay, who uh, whose company put down the um, uh, concrete there. Jay is a neighbor just down the road there. Did it at a vastly reduced price. I, I think he charged me something like a hundred bucks more than the concrete cost. It was low, and he had two guys, two of his guys, come along and do it, and they did a splendid job on it. Right then, there was my friend Sean's uh, assistants along with his two boys right I mean they put up the superstructure and anything that was took more than the first step of a ladder they did if I went up a ladder in my physical state now my wife would make sure that I met an early end so that she knew what was going on right so anything involving a ladder of more than one step I didn't do that includes the roof and things like that a lot of the painting I did pretty much uh, most of the interior uh, I've done there and uh, it's all shaping up but anyway that all gives you an idea of why I haven't managed to uh, do as much on engine building and things like this as uh, I'd like to have done I can work out there in the extension and it doesn't require any great um, uh, forethought to do it so it's not like working in here and having to make calculations and do this and that and the other I can do that when my brain is tired now talking of a tired brain one of the things I'm planning on doing here other than what I've already told you is I'm going to take a argument I'm having with a, a guy on the, the forum that I'm on, that Speed Talk, and uh, his name is John uh, Schneider, John, John Schneider, it, that sounds like it there. Anyway, the thing is, is I started to debate and showed uh, from the experiences of Harvey Crane uh, and um, uh, uh, Sig Sigerson, both of which I was close friends with, how it's more important to get the timing right than it is the profile. And this guy, John, whatever his name was, 
He's going to argue, right? I mean, I, I think he's got a university degree and he thinks that makes him smarter than everybody else on the face of the planet, but no. And the point is this. Um, I said to him, I could design a cam profile in probably two minutes that was the most dynamically uh, superior profile on the face of the planet. But as for making horsepower, it wouldn't be worth a monkey's, right? But, and so what I was going to do was challenge him to a, a, a duel where I designed a three arc cam and filed the profile, right? Did it with a compass, not, no calculations, filed the profile. And he could design a profile on his computer or two profiles, etc. And he could put them on typical timing for a roller cam because I'd let him design a roller cam, and I was going to design a flat tappet cam, right? And I'd make more horsepower than him. Now, that's what I was going to do. But when I went through all my dyno tests, I saw that I'd got a flat tappet cam to my spec versus a roller cam to comp cam spec. Now, Comp did both cams. They ground one my way and they ground the roller their way. And I'm going to show you that. So that's going to be coming up in the next video or two, right? Probably it'll be the second one from now. Uh, this will be the one I'm working on now. All i got to do is find that damned camshaft. And that's where we'll go. See you down the road.